I started up in Braddock 21 years ago just to teach GEDs and help young people get their lives together. There's no, there's no power, there's no prestige, there's no money there. It was just what really is important and what matters, and that's what I expected to spend my career in. Career in serving. And he's just using Pennsylvania. Sometimes I'm going to miss some words. Sometimes I'm going to mush two words together. But one thing I absolutely will always get right is making sure that we stand for the important things in Washington, D.C. some of the top issues or top reasons that you're supporting Fetterman in this race? Well, the main, uh, to, to the main reason I'm here is actually I'm a Republican. Okay. And I have a nonprofit company, uh, Wellness for Veterans. So the person replacing to me is a direct representation for the veterans to the VA. So I actually went to Camp Oz. He gave me five minutes. I went to Camp Fetterman. He gave me 25 minutes. So he switched me from a Republican to a Democrat right then and there. Uh, so I had to follow him because he was supporting me and he was supporting veterans, which to me was the most beneficial out of all, anything that's out there. Currently, the Democrats have a slim majority in the Senate. Uh, tomorrow, we'll kind of see, bro, we'll probably won't find out exactly tomorrow, but in the next couple of days, we'll start to see where things go. If Fetterman does win the race uh, and the Democrats pick up a couple seats in the Senate, do you think Democrats are actually going to begin to act on some of these things? At the end of that speech there, we heard Fetterman talk about uh, Medicare for all, raising the, the wage to a living wage. Do we think that Democrats are actually going to go through and carry through on some of these issues or is it going to be like we kind of saw this summer on a couple of the issues of abortion and things like that where you know well there's been a lot of talk but we haven't seen a lot of action yet well you're going to see action it might not be the extreme the extreme that some of the people project but uh, as far as uh, women's rights uh, medicare for all i don't know if, it, if that's quite the right thing to say medicare for all but i think it'll be expanded to where you can buy in uh, health care living wages uh, they talk about minimum wage. It's not a minimum wage. It's living, livable wages. And union way of life, those are the main things. Uh, and, and you think Fetterman, because unfortunately, uh, you know, we get a lot of, it happens on both sides, right? You get this administration has been pro-union. We can get to the majority of the Democrats and make the pro-act law. Sure. It's, it's a you're, conv you're convinced that it could happen. I'm, to, to be myself. I believe it's going to happen. All right. You're, you're more optimistic than me. I, I wish some of these guys would get in there and do it. So you guys seem to say, think that Fetterman will be one of the guys to actually get in there and fight for these things in the Senate. You get that filibuster. They need to do their damn job when they're come out and read a book for two days over nothing. Those are our tax dollars paying for their asses down there. Sorry about the language. You're allowed, you're allowed to swear. It's okay. We're, we're internet. We're hey, good. brother. We're, we're good. Yeah, I think he's going to get it done. Let, let's get let's get this country back on track. The insurrection has put him in jail. Elections are elections. 
you mentioned the, the the stroke in the beginning. Does do his health concerns bother you at all, or are you not concerned? No, I'm a double cancer survivor myself, so I understand the uh, you know how uh, it takes a while to heal. But he's already on stage uh, giving speeches. I, I couldn't do this regularly, uh, so yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, same. I'm not concerned. I've known many people who've had strokes before, and I think he's doing great. And uh, yeah, I don't think it matters. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, so tomorrow is election day, obviously. Um, we're going to be probably not finding out results right away. Um, I guess, what is your take on what you think will happen with, uh, you know, vote counting, uh, mail-in ballots? Obviously, there's already kind of issues starting to pop up with that. Do you have any thoughts on how the process works? Did either of you vote by mail? Um, I didn't vote by mail, but I actually am a poll watcher tomorrow in my district, or, or in my ward. Okay. <laughs> so I'm is that excited. something you've done before? Or? Um, uh, not that exactly, but recently I ran for a local uh, office for a local committee member uh, because Bernie Sanders and uh, people like Fetterman, they encourage people to fill those seats, and I, I won. And uh, I wanted to kind of step up and help my community. He's, you know, a great role model for encouraging that. I live in Austin, Texas, and we were covering a lot of the Rover Suede protests down there, which in Texas is obviously a very big deal. Uh, there's uh, abortion is illegal with no no exceptions for rape Austin's the only bastion of sanity. It is, <laughs> it is, it is. We're surrounded by I mean, absolute chaos. Well, it's yeah. like us in Allegheny County here in Pittsburgh, yep. surrounded. Yep, yeah. You know. uh, but, you know, women I was speaking with there were like, like, this is this is bullshit, frankly. And, uh, you know, one, one in particular was like, I got an email today from Joe Biden asking me to kick in $5. He's sending emails to all these people at these rallies. Give me five bucks and I'll fix this problem for you. I mean, the, the problem's not fixed, and I, I don't want to be pessimistic, but it, the Democrats are almost definitely losing the House right. this week. Right. So, sure, you, you might have the Senate. Uh, that's going to be real. It's a coin flip. Right. They're promising these things, and it's, it's yeah. tough to say. You have to keep trying. You have to build momentum. Yeah. You have to hope that the uh, Trump you know, cult explodes. Yeah. I mean, if something were to, well, if something were to happen to him, if he were to die, if he were to get hit by a bullet lightning, all the Republicans would say it was a deep state. It was. We're was not calling for that. The this we're not calling for that. This is yeah. Right. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just saying yeah, yeah, this is yeah. hypothetical, purely <laughs> hypothetical. But if that happens, that's what they're going to say. Yeah. And what would be amazing is where all that energy goes. All that energy, all that insanity behind him, where is that going to go? Right. During his speech, you mentioned a couple of particular uh, topics, the $15, or raising the minimum wage for living wage. Yes. Yes. He talked about uh, Medicare for all. He yes. talked about uh, you know protecting Social Security benefits. Do we think that John Fetterman is going to be a senator when he gets in there to actually like fight to make sure those things are top of mind? Or is he going to end up like, unfortunately, a lot of Democrats right now? I mean, uh, a, a clear example is Bernie Sanders, who was here yesterday. We were out covering that event. Uh, when Bernie Sanders endorsed Joe Biden, for example, he did it with the promise of fighting for a $15 minimum wage. When was the last time we heard Joe Biden talk about that? It's I, yeah, I, basically crickets on the topic, right? Uh, do we think that John Fetterman's going to be a guy who's going to get in there and actually fight for John these Fetterman issues? John Fetterman is or? more relatable. I actually went to school in Braddock at the CCAC where he taught, and my niece actually got her GED through him and has, her, you know, hit the program that he was teaching. So I believe in him. I believe he's relatable, especially to the people in the community. And, you know, if you want to see the change, you have to vote for the people who are, you're relatable with. Gotcha. Oz was good on TV as a doctor, but that's where he should be. I'm just saying. Yeah. I like him on TV as a doctor. <laughs> I wouldn't like him as my senator. He right, you like him on the Oprah show. He wouldn't survive show. a credit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If they tore my projects down, I'm just saying. It, gotcha. it was called The Bottom. It was by the, it was by the, the river. And it was by the steel mill. So a lot of people drowned and got run over at the train tracks, but he wouldn't survive. Right. Fetterman, he got us.